Hi. I'd like to show you how to properly commission the Fire Ray 5100 optical beam smoke detector. The settings are given in the installation guide as well as on the back label of the beam detector. On the back of the beam detector are the dip switches and the mode switch. Choose the settings that you need. Factory default is switches 1 and 4 up and switches 2 and 3 down. The commissioning can be done with the front cover on or off. With the beam powered and reflectors installed, move the mode switch to the up position, which is reflector targeting mode. In reflector targeting mode, you are trying to find the reflector by steering the beam detector with the vertical and horizontal thumb wheels. The faster the amber LED flashes, the stronger the signal back from the reflector. Steer the beam detector to get a solid amber LED. Once you have the solid amber LED, confirm you are actually on the reflector and not on another object by covering up the reflector and checking the amber LED goes out. Now move the mode switch to the middle position, which is the alignment mode. In alignment mode, you are centering the beam detector on the reflector and the beam detector is adjusting its power for optimum signal. The LEDs now mean something different. A red LED means that you're gaining signal and an amber LED means that you're losing signal. Choose a thumb wheel. It doesn't matter which one you choose first. We're going to adjust both of them. Turn half a turn. If you get the amber LED stop, you're going the wrong direction. Turn back half a turn and you get the red LED. Wait and let the red LED go out. While the red LED is flashing, the system is reducing its transmit power. Wait for the red LED to go out. Initially, it can take up to a minute and a half for the LED to go out. The closer you get to the center of the reflector, the faster the red LED will go out. Turn the thumb wheel half a turn in the same direction. Wait for the red LED to go out. Do it again. It can take up to 20 to 25 turns. Keep chasing the red LED until a turn gives no LED. Turn the thumb wheel further half turns in the same direction until the amber LED flashes. This means you've gone past the center of the reflector. Come back half a turn. Repeat this process for the other thumb wheel. We are ready to move the mode switch down into the operation mode. The beam detector makes final internal adjustments and saves its settings. You must stay out of the beam path during this time. You will hear the fault relay click in and the LEDs will flicker for a little bit. You now have a working system. You can check the beam detector is centered on the reflector just by touching each edge, then the top and bottom of the detector head. When you touch each side of the detector head, there will be a short flash of the amber LED to indicate beam is slightly off center of reflector. And when released, no LED lights to indicate beam is centered on reflector. Now we want to do the fire and fault test. For the fire test, find the fire threshold value on the supplied test filter. Factory default is 35%. Slowly cover the top lens to this value and wait for a short delay of approximately 10 seconds. Fire should be signaled with a solid red LED, and you will hear the fire relay click in. Once you remove the filter, 
the beam detector will reset automatically after five seconds. For the fault test, fully cover the reflector rapidly and wait for a short delay of approximately 10 seconds. Fault should be signaled with a solid amber LED. If you will hear the fault relay, click in. Once you remove your cover, the beam detector will automatically clear. Replace the front cover if you took it off. Commissioning is now complete.